we don't know the Word of God. Two things we don't know. In fact, I said to the seminary men, do you know God? Well, I, I, I didn't know, no. I, I, asked, I answered yes or no. Oh, oh, I learned Hebrew. I didn't ask if you know Hebrew. Do you know God? You asked ten young people in your church to answer in, in less than fifty words, why did Jesus come into the world? To save us from hell, to save us from sin. And so they go on. But what does Jesus say in, in John 17, 2? That they may know thee, the only true God. And that's the essence. We don't know God. If we knew God, we'd set the world on fire. If we knew God, we wouldn't beg for money. We know things about God, but we don't know God. We don't know God. Hello, everybody. Thanks for showing up and spending a little bit of time with me as I take a look at something that I want to show you guys and just go over it as well and add my commentary to it as well. And um, but I want to begin with prayer. This is not going to be a fun video. This is this is a this is a serious one. So I'm going to start with a scripture. Colossians chapter one. So it's not going to be the best um, visuals, but we're not here for that. We're here for the information, and we're here for truth. And the truth is the word of God, and His word is settled in heaven. Verse 1, chapter 1, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, and Timotheus, our brother, to the saints and faithful brethren in Christ, which are at Coloss, grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We give thanks to God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you, since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love which ye have to all the saints. For the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, whereof ye heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel. So there's truth in the gospel. Which is come unto you as it is in all the world, and bringeth forth fruit as it doth also in you. That's what we want. We want fruit to be produced in us by the word of God. Since the day ye heard of it, and knew the grace of God in truth, and ye also learned of Epaphras, our dear fellow servant, who is for you a faithful minister of Christ, who also declared unto us your love in the Spirit. For this cause we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you, and to desire that ye might be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. That is the will and wisdom and spiritual understanding of, of God. That's what Paul here is talking about. To be filled with the knowledge of God's will in all under, and in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Okay? So we desire that. That ye might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God. Amen. Strengthened with all might, according to his glorious power, unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness. Long suffering with joyfulness. Hmm. Giving thanks unto the Father, which hath made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. Saints in light. Very quickly, where it says right here, which hath made us meet. Um, another translation is giving us thanks to the Father who has qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. What's happening there is qualified. That word qualified or to make us meet means primarily to make competent or sufficient and secondarily to entitle, authorize, or enable. 
Just as God honored Israel by giving that nation Canaan as an earthly allotment, so he has honored each member of the church with the potential of obtaining the inheritance of spiritual Canaan. Goes on to say, verse 13, Who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son? In whom we have redemption through his blood. We have redemption through Jesus' blood. Even the forgiveness of sins. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. And this is what I want to lift out right here. For by him we for by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth. Visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things and by him all things consist. Let me go on to 18. He is the head of the body, the church, who is beginning and the who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence. For it pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell. And having made peace through the blood of his cross, by him to reconcile all things unto himself, by him I say whether they be things in earth or things in heaven. And you that were sometimes alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now hath he reconciled. Um, 22, in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. If ye continue in the faith grounded and settled and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel, which ye have heard and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven, whereof I, Paul, am made a minister. Who now rejoice in my sufferings for you and fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of Christ in my flesh for his body's sake, which is the church. Wherefore, I am made a minister according to the dispensation of God, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of God. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Father God. Even the mystery which hath been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints to whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory, whom we preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. And final verse Whereunto I also labor, striving according to his working, which worketh work it in me mightily. And I pray right now that the workings of Jesus Christ also worketh in me mightily to produce this video as I even speak right now. Okay. Let us pray. Heavenly Father. Lord, I need you. I need your Holy Spirit to empower me and to equip me, Lord God. As I share this information of what is happening and things that are already known and things that are not known yet by the masses, bring everything to the light to be exposed. Bring the enemy's work to the light to be exposed, Lord God. His agents, Father God, expose them. In every area in our society where they operate in, expose them, Lord God, as you are even now. So that those who stand a chance can flee and run to you to be saved and delivered, set free, 
chains broken off of their minds and their lives. I ask you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. I'm just me. I'm not trying to be somebody great and somebody awesome and amazing. I'm just me. And I just have a love for you, Lord Jesus. And have a love for people. And have a love for the saints. As Apostle Paul said, yeah, for the brothers and sisters in the body. And where I fall short and whatever I'm weak in, Lord God, I pray that even in my weakness, that you still get the glory. Because it's not about me. It's about you, Jesus. It's about getting your truth, your word, and your gospel out here into the world. I ask for clarity and understanding and wisdom and knowledge, even now. Have your way, Lord Jesus. Amen. So, I saw a sister of mine, who I, I call a friend and a sister in the family of God, got this notification as she dropped this video, and I checked it out. And I'm familiar with this medley, because I've, I've heard it some weeks prior. And I wasn't interested in really paying it any deep, deep attention. But when I saw my friend here, Sister Kembo, drop this video, and I watched it last night. Uh, last night I watched it? Yesterday. Yeah, yesterday I watched it. I was, um, I was surprised. Um, what, what, what surprised me about it? There, there were some discrepancies um, that um, was not addressed. And so, and, and then also I, I felt like her stance towards it, overall, overall, her recommendations and her appeal, I'm all for it. Um, I agree. I'm going to delve into this, so let's delve into this. I give a praise be to the most high God. I know that you're the ruler of the universe over all things. You're the sole protector, king of kings. You're forever the Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end. Welcome back to the channel. It's always a pleasure to see you. In today's episode of God Speaks, we weigh in on the project that has had people talking in more ways than one, the Street Gospel Project. Have you heard about the Street Gospel Project? Take a listen. Spearheaded by Richie Stevens, it's a collaborative project aimed at defying growing glorification of Obia and other devil-worshipping content in New Age Dancehall by reinstating the presence of God in the music. So first of all, I think it is commendable that some of the greats in dancehall would see to they they recognized one the trend in the 
what Winford refers to as new age dancehall music. Yeah. They recognize the trend and the trend there. They're glorifying Obia, guard rings, and so many other things that are dabbling in the occult. And uh, so they recognize that one, and two, they wanted to do something about it. So Richie Stevens spearheads this project, Street Gospel, he says. And they so, yes, they recognize it because the, 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 the new generation of musicians, these young people, they are brazen with it. They are brazen, brazen with having no cares and presenting it in their music videos, presenting it um, in their performances, and of course in their lyrics. So, you know, the older generation, like Richard Stevens' um, class, oh yeah, they see it. They've been seeing it. And so... I appreciate that, you know what, let's have this conversation. Um, I just don't feel that the conversation, I don't feel that the music um, using um, that mode is the way to start the conversation, to have the conversation. That's just me. So, let's continue. The aim is really to denounce some of those practices in New Age Dancehall, they are calling it, and reinstate. He yeah, which I just learned about that for the first time when I watched this video. New Age Dancehall. That sounds, that sounds right. That sounds justly fit for what is happening in the music, right? But it's not just in a dance out. It's happening here in the States, in, in the United States with the musicians here. And they've been doing it forever. They've been doing it forever. And even this climate, this generation is, is also brazen and bold, right? There, there is no, I'm keeping it quiet and hush hush. No, it's, it's out. It's out there. It's on. It's 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 out there on all platforms where music can be streamed and heard. So Jamaicans, the musicians, them, especially this this new group, this new class, um, they're like, oh, okay, well, we are do that. We we're doing that. So yeah, since everything is being acceptable now. Well, let me show you what I'm what I'm doing and how I been so successful. I've been doing this, I've been practicing this to get where I'm at, to get the old Carolan, to get the, 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 the money and to get the the titles. So yeah. Claims the presence of God in the genre. That causes me to wonder if dancehall in its roots had the presence of God in it in the first place. No. That part of it gives me pause, but I want to commend them for what they are attempting to do and recognizing that uh, them being unbelievers would need believers to collaborate with believers to be a part of the message that they are pushing forward. So there is some commendation there. But I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't give them any commendation there because what does light have to do with darkness? Right? There are many believers who understand the climate in the spiritual atmosphere that's happening in the land. And it doesn't matter which land, no matter where that believer lives in the world. God always has a remnant. So we understand what's happening. It's interesting though, yes. And it's always interesting that unbelievers who has they, they, they have a knowledge of God, 
you know that and the knowledge i'm talking about is that they have an understanding of god but they really don't know god they don't know 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 god but they know about god they know about god but they don't know god on that level of that real spiritual you know they've had a relationship with the lord jesus christ no but i find it interesting that these unbelievers want to link up and collaborate and work with Christian musicians, which in this video you will you will see only one Christian musician um, collaborating with a secular musician, a Whirlian, as we Jamaicans call non-Christians, Whirlian. Um, and you're gonna see that for yourself. So I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't even praise that. You know, let me fix this. Which I am. Um... I wouldn't even praise that. I'm, I'm not commending that. Um, this, this was the issue with, with, with the church in Pergamon. This was the issue of the world was coming into the church and being influenced. The church was being influenced by the world. And so, let's continue not overly excited as some people are i am not overly excited and the reasons for this i will give to you shortly it's amazing how everything came together it wasn't planned dubbed the street gospel the project started out as a ready but soon turned into something much bigger an idea came to me that i call it the I said, Nitikochi, me have a song that I think, are you for sing it? And once him forward and sing it, and we say, yo, Bujo need you know that school, you know? And we link Bujo and Bujo voice. And it wasn't just the Bantan who answered the rhythm score. The project garnered surprise. And so, he built this rhythm, built the song, and he had a certain musician in mind who fits the song their 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 style or them perform and stuff like that and as them do that now then they start wait you know what boom Buju Bantan would do well on this rhythm I'm gonna say some things that I don't care if my fellow countrymen and women write me off I don't care I belong to Christ and I have a citizenship in the kingdom of God. Yeah, I have a spiritual citizenship to be in the kingdom of God. Okay. Out of out of all the people that's on this rhythm. Wow. They thought of Bojo should be invited to be on this rhythm. Bojo Bantan? No. No. I've watched an interview that was conducted by the Breakfast Club years ago. Bojo Bantan. And let me pull that up for you. I'll be right back to that. I'm not going to play it. just want to show you something. Right there. Right? Bouja Bantan talks positivity, spiritual essence, growth, plus more. This was three years ago. And let me tell you. And I watched a whole hour. He said some things. And when... You hear, when I heard where his spirituality is at, this man don't want Jesus Christ. He never wanted Jesus Christ, or, he's, or he might be Jesus Christ. He don't want Jesus Christ. Garnered surprising support from A-listers of the genre. From that Kevin, don't really hear it, till I hear it, and say, boy, we want to be a part of that. Then, seeing him and hear it, and I saw it as a one. 
So some very great people are a part of it, including... Great, great musicians in, in, in terms of secular. Yeah, they're great. But that's as far as that goes. In some gospel artists, and I love the inclusion of the gospel artists there. I don't. What does light have to do with darkness? But see, that's what happens here in America. Snoop did a whole album with gospel musicians. An album. As a matter of fact, Snoop put out a gospel album. And it went like number one. Won an award for it, I believe. Snoop. Doggy dog. Yeah. Um... You had Mary Mary collaborated with secular musicians. You had um, y Yolanda Adams, secular musicians. Travis Green, sec which was, um, perform collaborated with secular musicians. Um, you had Kirk Franklin. I mean, that's like number one, number one. Who collaborates with... Anybody. Man has no filter. So it is a mixing going on here, merging going on here with the world musicians and God's musicians. Because God has musicians. Yes, he do. King David was a musician. He was not only just a king and, and, you know, a shepherd boy. He also played music. Let's continue. The advantages being that these gospel artists, their voice, their ministry will end up in places that uh, these non-Christian secular artists that 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 they alone would have had those kind of things so it, it it is giving more airplay so to speak i found it interesting though that he says that the, the project started out at just as just a rhythm you know and um, yes just a rhythm and mind you sister let me fix your face i wonder and mind you his first um um, invitation was not to a Christian. Wait, hold up. Time out. I don't know if Nitikachi's a believer or not. As far as I do know, I have not heard him, seen him come out and publicly denounce um and, and, and made a conversion from a life without Christ to now living a life in Christ. I haven't seen that interview. I haven't, heard, unless I missed it. And, and who knows? He, he may have. I didn't hear that one. I didn't hear that one. You know? And I think it would have been big, right? It would have been big like how Papa San did it. Um, Everybody knows he's a believer. Oh, Marion Hall did it. Everybody knows she's a believer. Um, Chevelle Franklin, everybody knows she's a believer. They've made public confessions. You see where I'm going with this? All right, carry on. Now, uh, what, what was he trying to impact with just that reading? So no great prayer, fasting, inspiration. What he was trying to impact, and you're right, no prayer, no fasting, he, he wasn't trying to get gospel born-again believers on the rhythm. That was not his, his motto. But it ended up working out that way, eventually, that we have a Christian pun on the rhythm. He's listening, as many musicians do, and you hear a particular voice. You know, would you need for the pandas? We need would you voice right So You know, we need for ear being upon this, and so on. And then it went on. Beanie, I don't know why they would want Beanie on it. Actually, no. It said, I think you said Beanie did call. You're going to hear it later on in the interview. Beanie wanted to be on it. 
Buju now. Him saying, yeah, I can hear a Buju laying down some tracks on it, laying down some verses on this. I could see why. Because Buju is about spirituality and consciousness. But he's not for Christ. It is a beautiful project, I think. And, uh, you know, just seeing the collaboration was quite interesting. The one that is getting more earplay is the one with the, the, the part of the song with Kevin Downswell and and Bounty Killer. That is getting a lot of earplay. Somebody call that name. Jesus. I beg you call that name. Jesus. I beg you call that name. 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 I was not aware that there were other songs. I listened to the lyrics. So amazing that Killer, no, he said something at the end of his, of, his, of his bars. He's like, there's power in the name of Jesus. Yes, Killer. Glad you know, but you don't really know. Because you didn't give your life to Christ. You didn't. You have not as of yet. Right? Life is short and time is precious. That's what Sanchez saying. Life is short and time is precious. Yeah. Continue. And the lyrics are indeed glorifying God and everything. And I think what is important for us is as believers, how should we respond? Because it is commendable that they are taking that on. But we should pray for the salvation of the people involved in these projects, for those who are not saved, because some of them are, that are professing Christians. Pray for them, because I believe that... That's Besides Kevin, I don't know. Who else? Maybe Richard Stevens? Maybe. I don't know. But everybody else that I've seen and heard, they're not Christians. I see them has been planted and uh, you know it would be good if they actually respond it would be good if they respond sister and has a seed been planted seed been planted a long time ago but let's not forget that seeds fall on different kinds of grounds jesus said you know we do remember that right this is impromptu i didn't have this already planned out so, yeah, it, it's in Matthew where Jesus talked about the different seeds. Anyway. Responding to the gospel. We should not be comfortable and overly excited about non-Christians pursuing something like this. With the knowledge of their lifestyles and the fact that they are not living out a particular conviction... It weakens the message that they might have, um, you know, or be trying to promote. And I'm also thinking about the fact that the younger people in dance hall, the new age dance hall, mm. they probably, it would be good if they are targeted to come on the project. I wonder if this project, while it will have some impact, how effective it is going to be. Who is the target audience for the project? The new age dance hall people who are singing about Obi and gathering and protection and murdering and killing and all of that jazz. You know, are they going to hear the collaboration on this project? And, and let me tell you, let me fix your face. Think. And let me tell you, sister, they really are singing about all of that. Let me show you. Let me see if this is it. Yeah. Oh boy, if I get copyright, I'm sorry. All of me does them a other man. Other man, other man, kusuman. Ring full of dopey, full of powder. Be 
All right, so there you have it, right? I never heard of this guy until a while ago. Slingers, Obiaman. And then he has another song where Upanda, two years ago, this one over here, Witchcraft, Slingers, Witchcraft, same musician, Witchcraft. Wow. Wow. And then he has another one. Um, this one. Goat Head. If you're Caribbean, you know. You, if you know, you know. If you're Caribbean, you know. You know what he's talking about when he talks about Goat Head. This is, this is a dancehall artist. But wait, there's more. Squash. Now this one was done... How long this? A year ago. A little over a year ago. Less than two years. This video has been out. And when I seen this, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Um, copyright infringement. <laughs> Let me just say that. All right. Copyright infringement. So, boom. The guy said, this is squash. And he says, Father, forgive me. Evil. Him. Him are meds. Daily. And... Mm. There you have it. There you have it. Wait, there's more. Let me show you another one. Um, let me show you another one. Okay, let me back it up. Let me back it up. Copyright, copyright, copyright for. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's showing you in the video. He's showing you what he's doing and how he makes his money, his riches, how he gets the wealth. Okay? He's showing you. And then he drinks it right here. I did a video titled, and this is how witches, witches are born. And in that video, um, there are a bunch of witches who goes into great detailed information of how they became and how they got the powers that they have. You better believe it. You better believe it. Um, this right here, where he cut the, the rooster's neck. This actually happens. It's in that video. And this is how witches are born. This is real. So this is a music video. But in real life. And as a matter of fact, I really do believe they did cut this. This live chicken's neck. All right. Let's not stray too far. Let's get back to Sister Campbell. I need to stop singing this, the things that I'm singing. I, I am not too confident that it will work out that way. But then, God has no limits on his power. There are no limits on the power of God. The redemptive power of God. So can they, through this project, redeem dancehall music? No. I have my doubts. But I do think the effort and the idea is commendable. And we, at best... We should put our prayers behind them. Yes, I'm praying for them, right? No, really. Being a man, Moses Davis, that's his real name. Bounty Killer, Rodney Price, that's his real name. 
Bojo, Mark Myrie, that's his real name. Um, Busy Signal. I'm soon come back. I forget the real name. I want, I want to say it starts with a D, but I'm soon come back. Richie Stevens, Nitikuchi. I don't know Nitikuchi real name. And then you have a young lady that's also performing as um, part of the song with Beanie Man. She go by the name The Flames. I don't know her real name. But anybody and everybody else who was not mentioned that's on this rhythm, I pray right now in the name of Jesus that Father, you will save them, that your power will break every chain, break every curse, break every yoke, Lord God. Rebuke the enemy off their lives, Father God, even now that these men, these women, they know the gospel. They've heard the gospel. They, 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 it's up to them, Lord God, whether they want to surrender their lives to you or not. What more can be said? What more can be shown to them? The time is now because life is precious. Tomorrow is not promised. Your word says today we're here, tomorrow we're gone. Life is like a vapor. Like grass, we are cut down, your word says. So, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, not for me, not to please me, not to make me or Campbell happy, but for you, Jesus, that they truly turn away, turn away from their sins, turn away from darkness, turn away from the detestable things in this world that they may have or is participating in, those things that keeps them from coming into alignment, that keeping them from coming into a true relationship with you, Lord Jesus. I pray for all those musicians on this who performed, collaborated, wrote, and took part in this medley, street gospel medley, even the engineers, the instrumentals, who, who, musicians, everybody, and the videographer, everybody, in the name of Jesus. Amen. See, I know. See, I ain't playing. I'm going to come here for play again. And pray for these people who are clearly lost and in the dance hall. Politician, them how we have to pray to God. God got you everywhere we chat. Moses, me name, me no name him rat. Yo, me no know why Babylon so bad. Me no have no gathering, so me pray to God. Yo, me no care what the pussy do. Me just want to roll the pussy do. The next song you think night and day, so everybody sing with me. So I mean, great lyrics, positive message. The message needs to get out there. Can't take that away from them. Kudos to Richie Stevens who perceived something like this. So, these are just feel-good songs. Right? Granted, somebody might be moved and touched by it emotionally. Somebody. There's, there's always somebody. But, as a friend of mine said, you can't put kiss out my Bible. Remember that? Marion Hall. Yeah, all I want to do, would it come for me? Come for me. You could put my head on the guillotine. It's all good. For Christ, I live and to die is gain. So, you know, free it. We can add Kiss Out My Bible, that song that Marion Hall did. With, with these performances right here. 
it's all in the same genre. It's just, they just feel good song, you know. You want to hear something different. You want to, you know, jazz it up. You know, when you're just driving out one day, you know, you're up on a cruise and, you know, you're just at home and you clean up your living room and you wash down the bathroom and you want to jazz it up and fling on something different. You play these, right? But is, is, is it really moving a person emotionally, spiritually, right? To come into the presence of God? I'll let you answer that. But for me, for me, no. Beanie, here's, so here, here's what, I don't know, my sister here, let me fix this. And I, and my, my prayer is. I don't know if my sister knows this. Beanie has never professed Jesus Christ. Right? I think this is the most the name Jesus is being mentioned in a song that Beanie is a part of. Really and truly. Because Beanie primarily likes to say Selassie. Yes. Yeah. And then he talking about Iman just one day were they were on with Bujude. Again, I wouldn't want to be around with Bujude. First of all, have you seen Buju Bantan lately? Whenever he drops his videos and upload his little his little when he goes on a little rant and his little talks, Buju Again, this might, you know, upset a lot of my fellow countrymen and women, but I don't care. Something is not right with Bojo. That's all I'm saying. Something ain't right. His movements, his behavior, the way how his eyes is jotting, the way how he's, you know, moving his body and just, you know, just, just. He's doing something. Is that it will expand? But I'm also praying for your salvation as well, because like I said, you know, um, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. their souls as well they matter, mm -hmm. and uh, they are pushing something that they, they, there there is a sense of the fear of God in their lives. So I believe that the seed has been planted, uh, um, and we should really uh, pray for them. We should genuinely pray that the Lord will have his way in their lives because they're doing something good. As it relates to the level of the impact and the effectiveness, can't really speak to that. I am well, not be. sure if this is what it will take to begin a revival no. in, the, in, in, in Jamaica. No. Don't think so. I think this is limited to the music industry. But time will tell. And let us see what will come of that. I want to So, sister, this, is, this has been happening... As again, as I said it, it happens here in America. Has there been an impact? Has it brought people to Christ? All right, boom, let's take it back to Marion Hall. What she had attempted, and she did, going to those two performances, those, those, those events, those venues, the one in Queens and the one down there in Jamaica. Has it made an impact on the lives of old people who were there and watched her perform? She gave out, I believe she said, a thousand Bibles. Where are those thousand people? Out of the thousand of them, who has actually been studying, reading, spending time in prayer, fasting in the Word of God? How many? We don't have a survey, right? Nobody's conduct. She didn't keep and thought to conduct a survey. Then again, it's not for us to do that. That's for God to do that because he knows who is who. Right? But if but if her kiss of my Bible has not made a difference in a Jamaica, right? From what I understand, Berylion is still getting attacked. From what I understand, there was a tragic assassination to a family. Stra horrible teenage son. Murdered. Mother and father murdered. Our next man is is um from what I understand, 87s were looking for his brother but find him. 
and taking three points. So, has her performance made a difference, made an impact? And to listen to Bounty Killer in, in part of the interview with him. Yeah, I was one of the first to say yes, because Richie knows our style. It, it's, it's something that necessarily needed to win for the, the direction of our nation ago, and the mind frame of we youths. We have to remind them, say, hardcore people, praise God. You don't want to be a Christian, because people make it seem like a Christian alone. Call up on God in this time, and they may call some entity where, where, where not. Killer, Mr. Price, we are the only ones who call upon God. All the time, not just this time, not just in these times, as Egyptian singer sang about, these are some serious times. All I can see around us is violence and crimes. Full time for us to realize, centralize, and organize. No. Christians always did a call upon the name of the Lord. We are talking about Price, Mr. Price. We are talking about. If you're not a believer, my Bible says the Lord hears. Hold on, let me find it for you. Let me get it right. Right here. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and save it such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them all. Proverbs 15, 29. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he heareth the cry of the righteous. Come back to this now. So we are saying now, back it up. We are Christian because people make it seem like a Christian direction of a nation ago and the mind frame of we youths. We have to remind them, say, hardcore people, praise God. You don't want to be a Christian because people make it seem like a Christian alone. Call up on God in this time and they may call some entity where we're not, not real. Yeah, because gathering, you're dead. If I gathering, you think I gather, you're dead. I read it. Does it touch of it? You're dead. You're just not. And, and Campbell's gonna, she's gonna clear this up because she, she said something great in reference to what Rodney's saying right here. He's saying that they're calling up entities that are not even real. Mr. Price, these entities are real. The things that they're doing are real. They are, they do manifest. If it weren't so, then they wouldn't continually do it. You are a big man for these young musicians. You're, you're, you, you are in your 50s, I believe. You are a big man. You are a elder in other business for these guys, these younger youths with this generation that's coming up in the class behind. Way, 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 way behind you. And it's not no. Obia, Obia worker them, Obia workers have been around in Jamaica. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, so hold up, hold up, wait a minute. I go, I, I go and bust in the head right now. Watch this. Watch this. So, are we gonna act like this didn't happen? Just, just why the area? Just the other day, four years ago, we're gonna act like this didn't happen. Let me let me play for you. Just like to point out that the Obia law from I thought it was I thought it was removed. <laughs> I thought it was repealed, only to find out that it is still the law. But but you know, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, there is a cabinet submission from 1975 to repeal the OBA law. And it is still there. <laughs> but I would like to bring it, well, after we pass this legislation, Mr. Speaker, 
I have asked the Law Reform Department for us to have another cabinet submission I would like to bring for Order, us to please. the seat here in this house the repeal of the Ovia Law. It, it will be put in a broader concept in terms of scamming and other things. But there's no reason, Mr. Speaker, why the OBIA Act should still remain on the statute book, and we hope to remove it in due course. Because you can't deny me my African religious rights. Okay? So I don't want it to be understood by anywhere, anywhere. Okay? So no, I am asking for a clarification. I'm asking for a clarification. Because OBIA should never have been illegal at any point, any time, anywhere. Okay, you heard that. But wait, there's more. Mr. Serpy even covered this. You, you, you should check this one out. Should Jamaica legalize Obia? It's a short video. It's only 4 minutes, 43 seconds. You should check it out. Check it out. Trust me. Here we have another one. Obia versus spirituality. Jamaica set to legalize Obia. And this was 15 years ago. Okay. Weird. We're not down yet to know. Street question. Should Obia be legalized in Jamaica? Come now. Come now. Who this? ADJ Comedy TV. All right. Big up on yourself. Um, TVJ Smile Jamaica legalize Obia. This is a... I saw this one. This is a minister. Four years ago. But we could go to the streets. Obia be legalized in Jamaica. Well, that legalized long time. You don't come from Planet Earth. <laughs> yeah, people, I mean, I say you don't know a DJ comedy TV your time you know, with part two of the street questioning. And to the people, we're there now. Send me a rip. Chubby, chubby. You see me? Poor Maria, to be exact. You see what I say, people? And to the people, the question is do you think? Obia should be legalized in Jamaica. You don't know what sent me or this enough. So you don't know, say, yes, so I want to white people, must say, you see. Yeah, so we are going to the street, you know, where you white people, must say, you don't know where you're going. You know. Me be not right like some broke, me take a minus, make a plus, them they even know when me go through, them see me shine and say no. I'm a drive like me a truck, but I might like me a bluff, me a grind like me a fuck, all day, all night me a walk. Yeah, me Jenna, that's so what you mean. You know, Mark X up scheme though, but Jenna. All right, Mark X, the question is, should Obia be legalized in Jamaica? Hey, man. I hear one. Six minute, right? I'm going to just play half of it. Wow, excuse the language. Excuse the language. Imagine, I kill them all because they have a science board of a dead bad jigger. Who them? Where them come from? And I said, me, I'm a Jamaican. No! Uh, up top, my general. Well, Rastafari, no. Rastafari. Rastafari. Right. Right. Should Obia be legalized in Jamaica? Well, that legalized long time. Hmm. Because Haiti and Jamaica. I guess uh, it's too strong to over take place, you know. Over is a form of the culture, black corn culture. And if we're not if you did if you didn't hear him good, he said Haiti and Jamaica. Okay, Haiti and Jamaica. Please, you know. Over is a form of the culture and Jamaica. I guess uh, it's too strong to over take place, you know. Haiti and Jamaica is where the two strongest Obia workings happen. Haiti and Jamaica. I'd beg to differ. That is actually Africa, but you know. Obia is a form of the culture, black country culture. And if we're not use Obia in the right form of way, then I wouldn't sleep today because it's a, it's a powerful thing. For real. Because I use it to defend myself. <laughs> you see it? Yeah, man. I yeah, man. Yeah, man. All right. So, your name? Lloyd McPherson. And Lloyd McFerdin, the question we have to ask, should Obia be legalized in Jamaica? No. Why you say that? I don't really believe in it. A good and bad make up in an almighty God, only a God in an Obia business. Yeah? Can even turn water in a way that was science. So. Shut up your mouth, man. So, I don't really believe in it. Alright. So what's your name? Job King. Yeah, so he said that Jesus. No, I'm sorry, not Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus turned the water into wine. That's what he said. 
And he says that's science. Valiant have a song named Science. I'm not talk about science like biology, anatomy, and physiology, earth science. I'm not talk about them the science day. I'm talking about, he's talking about witchcraft. The occultic powers. He's saying that Jesus used occultic demonic powers to turn the water into wine. That's almost blasphemy. It's almost blasphemy. If he said it out of ignorancy, I believe God would forgive him. Yeah? But if he say it with conviction and he know and he understand, that's blasphemy. Chapter today, the question is, do you think Obia should be legalized in Jamaica? I will ask them on your mean dog, you know, long me see two girls more and dog, a zipri. All right, and I'm gonna just link up a Obia man, you see me, and just get a little thing and drop on your foot, you see me, and just drop easy one, two, three. You need a job later. You know what I said, dog? Yeah, man. Up top, man, I eat, man, I don't know. You out there. So he said, basically, of course it should be legalized. Because he sees two young ladies that he wants to be with. And he would link or call, connect, go to an Obia person and have them perform a spell so that he can get with these women. That's what he said. I saw your name. Yeah, man, a Damien Plex man. AKA Bad Indian when me a load bus car watch. You see it? Yeah, Bad Indian. The question is yeah. should Obia be legalized in Jamaica? I know Obi and I be legalized because that done legal a long time in my youth. I see me as separate. My grandmother tell me, say, so so much then where we are eating out here that they use and work in science Africa. You know, you see me? You, you see, Ross? I see me as <laughs> you don't know, say, man, I have to put a legalization for Obi. Obi has done legalize itself from a long time. Exactly. You see, I feel it for a morning. Yeah, because I never see a one guy quote us with science. Tom or Mr. Brown or Mr. Yeah, whatever. You see me, I say? But man go a quote us to shoot and stab all of them sitting there. What me say? We can't find no evidence if a man stays and go and deal with the real way. Set a couple of baby up here and call it up here and they sitting there. Oh, what kind of evidence are going to come out of that when you're there? Shut up your mouth, man. Yeah, so what's your name? Yeah. Right now, me a Rasta, man. You know. Rasta, Rasta. Rasta, Rasta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rasta. All yeah. right. Just Rasta. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, what you think? Should Uber be legalized in Jamaica? No, I don't believe in that, you know, brother, man. Trust me, that is a part of witchcraft, you know? Yeah. Original, from ancient monarchy, from the people in uh, me grow monks. Never really respect that. There's a part of covetousness. Yeah. Strictly. Yeah, man, I really advise them for real to do that. So, yes, a fire upon that street. Yes, yeah, straight up. Straight. Uh, so, what's your name? Devon. Yeah, Devon. The question is, well, we have to ask you, should Obia be legalized in Jamaica? No, because a wicked crime, that. So, we can't consider the system of going on, so they a system that kill people. I mash down people, so we don't believe in them story. Them the people, eh, we stay to themselves. Mm. Okay. My name is General. My name is Chubby. Yeah, Chubby. So today the question is, do you think Obia should be legalized in Jamaica? There, I don't believe in that. There is no such thing in Obia. Wow. How do you believe in that? Wow. that? You understand? Yeah. And so, I don't believe in that. He sounds like my father, because my father like to say, believe kill and believe cure. You know, believe in I know no, 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 no. If, if me, see, people say they more worthy me, for what? Me not rich. Me, when me have for them for worthy me. You understand? Where me not have nothing. Me see people that say, um, people are worthy them, for what? For poor in poverty. <laughs> no, I say. That's not what they're worthy on. Listen, so, Chubby, you misunderstand, you don't understand, man. People don't need to obey you, to science you, to get possessions from you. No. It could be they just don't like you. Period. John Ramirez, a former occultist, testified, gave a testimony and said when people would come to him and, and wanted him to do his science, his witchcraft on Christians, he said he wouldn't charge them. He said, oh, Christians? Oh, yeah. I kill them for free. I put a spell on them for free. All right. Yeah. Foolishness. I really think, my general. Yeah. I really think. Yes, boss. I, my respect to him. Jay Ila. 
Yeah, Jay Ila, so today the question is, do you think Obia should be legalized in Jamaica? Yeah, it should be legalized, yes, because a whole for wicked people they are right to try all down people and things as it. You don't come from planet Earth. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I really talk, man. It can legalize, man. Mm. Yeah, people, I'm here to say thanks for watching. You know. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and definitely subscribe. You know? All right, big up on yourself. Big up on yourself, brother. ADJ Comedy TV. And this was four years ago. And then this is TVJ. This is a broad. This is a. <laughs> I just give you a little preps of it. I, I was going to just um, have the other one play just for half, but we just make it just go and play out. All right. So it's been a hot topic for some weeks now. The Honorable Minister of Justice, Delroy Chuck, signaled that Obia could become legal pretty soon. But we, re we realize that not everyone is in agreement, especially after we read a few responses from our social media talkback senior pastor at the Church of God of Prophecy, Bishop Marjuna Hedlam, um, gives us his take into things. Good morning, sir, and welcome to Smile Jamaica. Good morning. Um, and so I recommend that you guys check this one out. It is titled um, Legalizing Obia, June 13, 2019, TVJ Smile. So I'm not going to play this one. Um, you can watch that on your free time. And I recommend you do and hear what this man of God is saying. Plus, there's another one where an actual practitioner was debating a pastor. Um, yeah, and this was this was this was going this was going on in Jamaica. See it here again. Legalize Obia. Them said Obia. A black man thing come from Africa. We go to Africa in the market to sell all over here, you know. You want your mother to talk about it? Go to ask him, man. He can't tell you. He go to Africa and sell all over here. He said, man, see a man come and say, yo, Mr. Man, you can't cry. I make real fall, you know. And mother said, what you say? And the man call him, and the man start crying, and real start fall. Welcome to another episode of What to See, man. I'm Glacier. Right now, I'm in the streets of Kingston to find out if person... And I'm Kingston, my boy, you know. Yeah, man. Anyway, what's the scene? Legalize Obia. It's a question. You can't watch that too, but you're free time. But we could get back to the meat and the, and the gravy. I ain't yet yet. So if I don't got a guy that can guide we can guide ourselves to a man can turn it. So we need more than just our guidance. The spirit of God have to stay with us. We always yes, try to do the gospel thing, but we do it with the secular people. We never involve real Christians. He's the first I've ever really collaborated with a real minister from the church. You hear that? You hear him just say? It's the first time he's collaborated musically with a real minister. He wanted to say, he was about to say a real Christian. That's what he was about to say. And he's right. It's not the first time they've put out medleys like these gospel-ish about God. Not the first time. Um, Mary in Hall did one long before she converted um, um, on that rhythm. Hear our cry, O Lord. Yeah, she did a, she did fear look a rendition of that song. And then um, Elephant Man, I think Elephant Man's song on that rhythm was the biggest actually. You're too bad, mine. You're too bad, mine. You're too bad, mine. How about the way, the way, the way, the Rebuke them. Rebuke them. Them not like me. I mean, not like them. Really? That's not what Christ told us, how we should respond to these, you know, difficult people. But anyway, continue, Mr. Price. I wrap it up. So, man, no, sir. I no come and joke. Thing me I deal with a real Christian me a sing about that with come and go to those things. Oh, them just say God true. He can't get a forward. Yes, you understand? yes. And me never do it like that yet. When me I do before them seek or them see the devil, me never think it would have been a big hit. But me just think of something necessary where you have to set these words at time. So again, where was this idea to come together when the country was in debate? 
about legalizing Obia or not. We uno did de. All right, I could just fast forward and go to her recommendations. We have something else to say. Without having to live the way that he wants me to live, which is a holy life. Well, I'm there. Well, back it up. Now, be a Christian. We never do it like that yet. When me do before them seek or them see the devil. I'm let her finish her point. It, I'm it. Want me to think of something where necessary where you have to set these words at time. Bounty made some good points there. And but, but what is interesting to me is that he he expressed something that a lot of people think. You don't have to be a Christian too. You don't have to be a Christian too. Mm -hmm. While there is some truth to that, it communicates a deeper belief that uh, if you're living a good life, if you are keeping within the bounds of the law, this kind of talk, you don't have to be a Christian too. And that's why I said we need to pray for them because sometimes that's part of the danger with certain kinds of collaboration that people will feel so comfortable and accepting and so on. And I'm not saying that they should be shunned. I'm not saying that they sh we shouldn't collaborate in anything at all. I'm not saying any of that. I'm only saying that there is a a deep-seated belief that people have to say that, you know, you don't have to be a Christian to praise God. You don't have to be a Christian to worship God. You don't have to be a Christian to, to go to church. You don't have to be a Christian to this, this, that, and the other. And underneath it all is the belief that I'm really all right. Don't try to turn me into a Christian because I pray to God too. I call upon the Lord too. When me I go through some difficult time, me call upon God and me see God come through for me. Yeah, she's right. She's right about that. Let me get to this ending part here. It is a great one. And we, according to Bounty Killer, which was nice, he acknowledged the fact that these were real, real Christian. You know, I thought that was really, really good. And he said, real, real Christian, and this too, I know say. And, you know, but... Let us continue to pray for this project. It is a great one. And we we pray that God will have his own way. And that indeed, it will be, it will accomplish what it is intended to do. To steer people away from occultic practices. And that the fear of the Lord will be reinstated in the hearts of man. And we will see that being lived out in the lives of people. Yes, I agree with her right there. All right, here's the end. Here's the end. We what do you think? What are your thoughts on the Street Gospel Project? I want to leave this scripture with us. Philippians 1, 15 to 18. It is true that some preach Christ out of envy and rivalry, but others out of goodwill. The latter do so out of love. Philippians 1, 15 to 18. It is true that some preach Christ out of envy and rivalry, but others out of goodwill. The latter do so out of love, knowing that I am put here for the defense of the gospel. The former preach Christ out of selfish ambition, not sincerely supposing that they can stir up trouble for me while I am in chains. But what does it matter? The important thing is that in every way, whether from false motives or true, Christ is preached. And because of this, I rejoice. Yes, I will continue to rejoice. Verse 18 again, what does it matter? The important thing is that in every way, whether from false motives or true, Christ is preached. And because of this, I rejoice. Whatever the motives are for the Christian, for the unbeliever, if Christ is being preached, let us rejoice. For the power is in the word of God. And it is the spirit of God that draws men unto himself. We are only vessels. 
what God can use the efforts of an unbeliever to do is his prerogative. So let us just back this with our prayers. Remain sober, vigilant, watchful in these times. So, yeah, I'm not, that's Bojo, and that's Nitikochi. Yeah, I am not going to back this project with my prayer. No. I do pray for Jamaica. I do pray for um, the fellow believers. And I pray for those who do not know Christ will come to Christ, right? That he will draw them unto him. Um, as far as God using the efforts of these non-believers, yeah, I don't, I don't agree with that part. I don't, I don't agree. Um, now, what Marion Hall did when she was handing out all those Bibles, that's an effort. That was an effort. I, I applaud her for that. I commend her for that. This is, this is just, this is just, these are just, feel, this is just a feel good medley. So that is it. That is all. Um, I do want to clear up that passage of scripture that she read though. And then, so she read Philippians chapter one. Sixteen to eighteen. So I'm not going to reread it, but I'm going to read it. I'm going to read the commentary. Bring and bring a, a, a another understanding to this. Here we go, which I feel is a better understanding to this. He suffered from false friends as well as from enemies. Verse fifteen, sixteen. Some preach Christ out of envy, and and sincerely. No, Christ out of envy and rivalry. They preach Christ out of selfish ambition, not sincerely. Therefore, there were those who envied Paul's mm. reputation in the churches and endeavored to supplant and undermine him, supposing that they can stir up trouble for me while I am in chains. However, there were others who were motivated by Paul's sufferings to preach Christ the more vigorously. Others do so out of goodwill and love, knowing that I am put here for the defense of the gospel. This made them the more bold to preach the word. How at ease he was in the midst of all. The important thing is that in every way, whether from false motives or true, Christ is preached. And because of this, I rejoice. Yes, and I will rejoice. Verse 18, it is God's prerogative to judge the principles men act on. This is out of our line. Paul was so far from envying those who had liberty to preach the gospel that he rejoiced in the preaching of it even by those who do it in pretense and not in truth. That is it. I'm done. I pray that God be glorified in all that I tried in my endeavors to present to you. Um, that is it. Continue to live on purpose. God the purpose. I'm out.